Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're here at Central Command. Um, we just came from that side, so <clears throat> now we're going forward, and I think we're going to be facing a boss soon. Uh, but let's check out both sides here. This takes us, this takes us out to the balcony. <clears throat> okay, a usable item. Oh, this takes us out to the cave here. Okay. This will be easier access to the um, central command, I guess, with the airship. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing the forward is locked, right? It, it won't open. But I should have expected as much for the crystal's last line of defense. My father must have the key. Okay. Um, down the elevator we go, I guess. And not Eternity much of a choice. The central command lies ahead, and the chamber of the Council of Six is housed at its summit. So that's where we'll find your father, Adia. Yes, along with the Dark Knight Alternus Dim and that strange man who put us to sleep. Well, we need the key Adia's father has. That's the only way we'll make it to the Earth Crystal! If we can just get the key, maybe we can avoid fighting a lot of people! I'm afraid that is one big if. Lord Marshal, the gate to the dungeon was utterly destroyed. But why would Yuliana assist in the Wind Vestal's escape? The capricious old fool. I cannot fathom his thoughts, but that the two appear now after 15 years. It's as if they have come to gloat over my demise. Lord Marshal, I'm afraid I don't understand. It is unlike you to utter such bleak words. Victor and Victoria are defeated, and we no longer receive word from our squads deployed abroad. <laughs> Those two grandsires said their peace ere going into hiding again. All that remains now of the Council of Six are you and I, Alternus. I shall not concede defeat. Were we but to slay the Wind Vestal? And what of my daughter? Could you slay her too? Uh, I. I. Hear me, Dark Knight, Alternus Dim. I would have you escape while you still may. Your Lordship, I must protest. Am I such a burden to be sent away so? It is my faith in you that makes me bid you leave. For I have a task I would entrust to no one else. You need merely speak the word. The time has come for me to share my true aim in restoring the Duchy of Eternia and reveal the secret borne by its predecessor. Until now, only I and those two grandsires were privy to such knowledge. Ooh, secrets. I like secrets. Okay, let's get myself comfortable here. Let's keep going. Um, okay. It's like doorway is hard. Okay. What is this way? A big circle with a chest. Gold hourglass. We still haven't really used those at all. Maybe we'll have to start using them. But they just, it seems like all my other attacks are so much stronger. There's like not ever a use for actually using them. But, I know a couple of those are useful, like the reflect ones can come in handy. But then again, even with those, I don't often use them. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go to the right first, I guess. Another chest. Turbo ether. Okay. Fair enough. I like those, they help a lot. Especially if we use a lot of spells, it'll, they'll come in handy. Okay, over here, up we go. 
up a central command. And on this floor is where we actually need to go. Okay. Make sure to check out all the rooms, all the balconies. Don't want to miss anything. Nothing in there. It's probably going to be a chest at the end of this one. No? Okay. I don't want to go in there yet, because I think that's where we're supposed to go. Let's go out this and see what's out here first. Oh, this is her, this is her room. This is the room where I grew up. So this was your room. Hey, ring a bell. Let a girl keep some privacy. Where's the fun in that? This place must be full of memories. I can almost taste them. I don't have any memories, at least any I can recall. So forgive me if I wax a little sentimental here. They say you can tell a person by their room. And all I can say is, what a fine room you have here. Thank you. Hey, isn't that a picture of you, Adia? You look so young. Oh, <laughs> how embarrassing. Let's pretend you didn't see that. Here's one with your entire family. Oh, I'd forgotten about that. Seeing this picture leaves no doubt of the depth of your father's love for his daughter. If by love you mean exasperation, you may be right. <laughs> Are you truly prepared to battle your own father? <sighs> that would seem to be my destiny. You could say I truly am my father's daughter. We are both of a mind that shan't ever waver once we decide upon something. To go against one willing to die for his beliefs calls for steely resolve. That is why I... I... It doesn't have to be this way. How so? It serves no purpose to abandon dialogue from the start. Not while you are both here to talk. I will consider it. Okay. Is there anything in here I can actually grab? I don't think so. Can I... Oh, I can sleep! Okay, I mean... I'm guessing they'd be looking for us. This would seem like an obvious place to find all of us. But... Fair enough, I guess, you know. Okay, let's check out... This little piece over here that I missed before we continue... Unless this is actually where we need to go. Okay, nothing in this part. Let's see. Let's check out each little place. Oh, blue chest. Get those at the end of the game. Go in here. Oh. Okay, so I think this is where... Oh, okay, no. This is not where we need to go. Assassin dagger. Wait. I already have two of those, don't I? Well, that's a shame. I probably could have saved some money not buying one of those. But at the same time, it's been useful throughout since, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much, though, does it? Let's check out over here. Nothing? Okay. What about on this little side hall here? Just a single chest. Divine fists. Okay, well, don't use those. Okay, got a little sneeze going on here. Let's keep moving on and go to where we actually need to go now. Hopefully, don't die, or hopefully they give me a save. What? That cannot be. How could such a secret be behind the crystals? It's not for us to question the truth. I will see that the Vestal and her followers are stopped here. And you... I would have you prepare for the worst. The Pillar of Light will appear somewhere in this world. You must find it, Alternus. And you must be victorious! <laughs> okay. 
So there's something going on with the crystals. I'm guessing we'll figure it out soon enough. I wish someone would just tell us. That might clear up ideas and Agnes' minds about everything if you would just tell us what's what's going on. But I guess not all adults are rational, I guess. Right? He's trying to stop the crystals for a good reason, right? Well, if it's such a good reason, why don't you tell Adia and maybe you could change your mind, big guy? Doesn't make um, too much sense to me, but hey, what am I... You know... Doesn't It seems like maybe that might be too hard. Just telling the truth might be a little too hard, you know? I don't know if anyone could handle that. Imagine just telling the truth. Or, you know, just saying something that's, you know, probably pretty important. Like, hey... Just so you know, if you revive the crystals, the world ends. So can you not do that? Um, let's see. Tiz. Spears. That is a better spear. I think. It should be a better spear. Okay. They're both 99. But I like... The Holy Lance probably looks sick. So I'm just gonna put it on anyway. Okay, let's go into here. And I think we're gonna fight the. Are we gonna fight Adia's father? I think that's who we're fighting next here. That would make logical sense, but you never know. It could be the vampire. But either way, we definitely let's go ahead and heal up. Everyone's healed. Let's go ahead and do a quick save here. Save. Elixir. And down we go. Or up? Down or up? Father. How could I have not known about that secret passage to your room? What am I to do with you now, Hadia? Well, I've been using it almost as long as I could walk. It's come in handy more than once. I see. Listen, Father. The truth is... Well... I wanted to help you fulfill your ideals. I truly did. I think I was lonely. I mean... No matter how I tried to get through to you, you never paid me any mind. It was as if you always had your back turned towards me, until I left Eternia. It was not that I never accepted you. Rather, you were ever my pride and joy. My assigning you to the Sky Knights was an acknowledgement that you had become the woman I knew you could be. I had thought you might tame that band of ruffians. To bring them to order. And lead them. Alas. Thank you, Father. I never knew you felt that way. Do not thank me. For I, too, shall do whatever it takes. I cannot allow you to lay hands upon the crystal. Mine is a cause that I shall not willingly abandon. Yes. Mother told me. It was when she first fell ill that you began to rush the pursuit of your ideals. Was it not? I will not stand by and watch you ruin all I've made. You and your band shall not pass. Why, Father? Why must you always refuse to listen to me? Are we really that different? My ideals are no longer my own. It is my calling, nay, my duty, to protect this world. Protect the world? But it's you, Father, who endangers it! Is this battle between us all but inevitable? I came here knowing that mere words could never bend Or you world. could tell her what's going on. And yet... You've come this far. Only to spout such sickly sweet sentiments. You disappoint me. Blood and steel are the final resort between those unwilling to concede their beliefs. 
Okay. We fight. Lee, the Templar. Grand Marshal of Eternia. Prepare for battle. All right, fight then. Let's go ahead and just attack. We'll use a special um, piercing bolt. You know what? Actually, we're not going to do that. Let's default. Default. Default and default. I want to. Okay, we all defaulted. Good thing I didn't attack then. Okay, didn't do much. Let's get some more defaulting going. Okay. Go ahead and brave. Let's get some attacks going here. Um. Special piercing bolt. Special horizon. And let's get a curata going. Please don't default. Okay. I'm glad he didn't default there, because that would have sucked a lot. Okay, he doesn't seem to have crazy high defense, because we're doing a good 600 per hit, so... It's not that crazy. I can get everyone healed up nicely. Okay, this isn't going to do too much damage, but it'll do a little bit. Like I said, I always say this every time, the main thing with that is just giving us that critical uh, hit buff. So, that's really all I need for from that. Okay. Usually it does a bit more than that, so maybe his magic defense is higher than normal. Let's go ahead and just do, um... Let's just do one pressure point. I kind of want to see how, how much that does. Let's do some black magic. How about some uh, Thundagas? I don't know which one's strong, so I'm just going to use a Blazaga and then a Furaga there. Oh, let's not do Acrobats. Let's go ahead and just do a high jump. Oop, no. Um, actually, let's go ahead and just do a Kira on everyone. Oh. Why does that do so much? Why the heck does that do so much? Oh, because it critted, probably. Oh, I mean, yeah, for sure it critted. I saw it crit. But wow, that did a lot of damage. Wow. Was not expecting that at all. Just did a quick 999. That is the first 999 of our lives. 35,000 more? Okay. Ooh, ouch. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Doesn't matter, though. We got Kirada. Okay, he used all three. Then, oh, I want to use some pressure points here. We could probably use two pressure points, right? Let's use two pressure points. Special bolt. Let's do another high jump. Let's do an Eraga, maybe? It's 5,000 per pressure point. That is a lot. It's actually not bad at all. A normal 2 BP attack would be around 4K. That does 5K, so hey. 1K is 1K, you know? That's technically profit and if it crits it does even more so um just another furaga here another eraga and i think we're good here okay let's do some more i guess might as well not let up right and we have ring a bell on on hand here okay he defaulted. That's not that really that big of a deal here. Oh, he's going all out again. Psych. You shall not pass. Okay, he recovers once again. Heart strike. Ouch. Okay. Um. Let's do another Firaga. How about we default here? We'll go ahead and use a Phoenix down. A nine, yes. And we'll do Kirada and then two I don't need it. I don't need I don't need any fancy tricks here. Phoenix down, Kirada and call it a day. I don't need to do anything crazy here. Oh, I don't have any more MP. Okay, I have an elixir. Might rather use a turbo though. 
We'll do a high jump. And maybe I will just use another Kirata here. You know what? Even a Kira might be good here, because I don't want to waste that much mana. Oh yeah, Tiz is in the air. He couldn't have attacked right there. Let's go ahead and default. Let's default. Use another Kira here. That's yeah, a little annoying, but hey, other people defaulted too, so that works. Let's default. Now let's also default with Ring a Bell. Okay, everyone else defaulted also. Let's use Rejuvenation. We actually don't need that. Let's just default again. Wow, everyone's defaulting. Okay. Then let's go ahead and just use Pressure Point, Pressure Point, Pressure Point, and Pressure Point. If he defaults again, I just I blows my mind. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, let's just use Acrobatics, do a high jump. And let's go ahead and do this. Oh, actually, we don't even need that. Let's just go ahead and use just the Curata here. And we should be good. Okay, I need... A crit would be super nice. Not enough BP. What? Ouch. Okay, that's fine. And then she still has her Firagas. And he should be dead. Soon. Okay. Is he never gonna tell her, like, the secret that he just told Alternus? Just not gonna mention it, I guess? You know, if something really bad happens, just not gonna mention it. The Templar, what does this do? Uh, good offense favors... I think I'm going to make... Tiz a Templar. Yes. He's good with swords. Swords are definitely his best. Okay. I think I'm gonna make Tiz a Templar, because I think Templars are sick. Mother! You should not have come. Forgive me, Brave. Forgive me, Adia. This is all my fault. What is this foolishness you speak? You are ever the strength that keeps me alive. And I love you and Adia dearly. Father? Father! Do not fear. He is merely unconscious. His wounds, they will heal. Though it will take some time. And he may never wield his sword again. <sighs> Mother, I... I took up arms against Father. I told myself I was ready to fight him. Even if it meant shortening his years. Then surely you will not stray from your path. So long as you hold that feeling near and dear. By your actions, you have finally granted your father a reprieve from his anguished struggle. It was for the best. Mother, we now go to awaken the Earth Crystal. I see. Forgive me. There is no need to ask my forgiveness. Oh, but there is, Mother. For if we awaken the crystal, your treatments will no longer be possible. We will no longer be able to keep what ails you at bay. What sort of daughter does that to her mother? Oh, Adia, you truly are your father's daughter. And that is what makes you even more dear to me. Mother! How very touching. I beg pardon for my interruption, but your fear is misplaced. 
And you are... Of course, you had yet to see me in this form. I am Lester De Rosso. But you may address me as Lord De Rosso. <laughs> what do you mean our fear is misplaced? It appears you have underestimated the Templar's great deeds. Deeds for which he risked life and limb. For he has advanced science and medicine in this land by a hundred years. While complete cures may not yet be possible, sickness and disease can be prevented from further progression. Awakening the crystal shall not rob your mother of such mortal life as she has left, Idea. So then... We're free to awaken the crystal! <sighs> Dear... Ironic, is it not? To think I would be the one to urge the Wind Vestal and her companions to awaken the crystal. I can see purpose unwavering in your eyes. Tis as if I gaze upon Brave the Templar in his youth. And yet, there is still much that you cannot fathom. I have seen years measuring in thousands. Hope and sentiment intertwined with right and wrong, good and evil. The rise and fall of the Orthodoxy, the restoration of Eternia, the two conflicting beliefs concerning the Crystals. So much may happen in a life immortal. <laughs> okay. The way to Everlast Tower is beyond this door. Let's go! Let's get it. But I'm gonna go back and save and also do this party chat. Let's, let's get near the save and then we'll do the party chat. Let's press on. You're staring at that journal. Wait, you're staring at that journal fit to burn a hole in it. I may as well, the things stopped coughing. I can't read. I may as well, the things stopped coughing up prophecies. Just who was the author in the end? I can't help but wonder. Did someone in the past foretell what the four of us would do? Or are the us in the book actually other people who lived in the past? Other people whose, doing perfect, whose doings perfectly overlapped with our own? Both theories are equally hard to believe. According to the text, You've met the book's author before, Agnes. Any recollection? No, I'm not entirely without my suspicions, but I feel they must be wrong. After all, you don't recall writing it, do you, Ring a Bell? Me, I'm afraid not. And the author claims to have saved your life, Tiz. Do you remember anything? No, nothing. I just assumed it was Owen that rescued me. And Adia. The author claims he's madly in love with you. Any ideas? So I can pummel him? If I said no, I'd be lying. What? I'm saying I have my suspicions where boys in love with me are concerned. But the facts don't add up for either of them. Either, I suddenly find myself twice as angry. Regardless, to the extent its words can still be trusted, the book says, it says you three are going to meet the author if we keep pressing on. I see little point in fretting over someone we may or may not meet. The Earth Crystal awaits us, this much is a fact, so let us hurry to the Everlast Tower. Second, it awaken the crystals to be our top priority. Let us hurry on. Right. Okay, let's also... We should probably quickly check on the town. Onion shirt! Okay, so we maxed that out. We could check out what's going on there. For now, though, let's stick the rest of these people in here. Actually, what are these other times looking like? Okay, let's take out a couple people out of here, because I think we should put this around three hours. Let's take the six hours down a little bit. Okay, put that to five. Um, those are those are all full. Okay, so I guess 
we can put a couple here, then a couple here, and then we can put the other two here. Okay, and then, uh, like I said, um, I'm going to want to change Tiz. I think I'm going to want to change him to a Templar. But now question, do I even have swords? I don't even have a sword for him. Um, I don't even have any swords for him. I think I must have sold them all. Okay, well also, so I guess let's go to equipment. Let's see, the falcon knife? This is a lot better for Agnes, but they're both 88,000? Okay, what about swords? There's no sword that I can directly buy here. But I guess I can use other- no, because the Templar specifically uses swords. Um, onion shirt. Oh, these are just... Okay. Those are just outfits. Okay, then... Maybe... Let's get out of here. I want to go to town. I want to see if I can buy some swords for, um, Tiz, so I can change him to a Templar. Okay, let's just sell that. And with that, I can buy two Flame Tongues. Okay, now if... Now, real quick, I'm just curious. Flame tongue. Um. So it's 36 attack. Let's go ahead and make him a Templar here. I think a Templar looks a lot sicker. Abilities. I think I'm. Just, okay, let's see. I guess we haven't checked spear lore. I guess that doesn't matter anymore. That doesn't really matter. Okay, so his abilities haven't really changed much. His equipment's alright. Oh, no, they're not alright. I need to change these to Flame Tongue Swords. Okay, and th that's all good. His special, he's gonna be using these again. So I might as well update these super quick. Let's change this to... And once again, I probably need to go grinding for some money in a little bit here. Those fling tongue swords cost me a lot of money. Let's go ahead and save here. And guys, I'm going to be ending off this episode here. Next episode, we'll probably go to that side quest and then go into the crystal. Uh, but guys, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.